Cabin Pressure Control System, or CPCS, supplies a safe, comfortable environment for the crew and passengers throughout the aircraft flight. To do this, the CPCS controls the flow of conditioned air supplied by the environmental control system. This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication. The purpose of this video is to provide guidance when troubleshooting ICAST messages and avoid any unnecessary removals of the CPCs. Additional information on the CPC system can be found on the Honeywell My Aerospace web portal and from Boeing technical publications. CPC system consists of a flight deck selector panel, two cabin pressure controllers that are located in the electronics equipment racks E1 and E2. There are two controllers. One is the primary while the other is used for redundancy. If the active CPC detects a fault that prevents it from properly controlling the cabin pressure, it will record the fault in memory, set a fault output discrete signal to the ICAST system, and a cross-channel output to the standby CPC to take over control. An ICAST status message is displayed as either Cabin Alt Auto 1 or Cabin Alt Auto 2, depending on which CPC detected the fault. These aircraft were not designed with central maintenance computers, so the CPC does not communicate the specific fault message to the aircraft systems. The fault that caused the status message is only stored in the CPC memory. To retrieve the fault, the aircraft must be on the ground and access is needed to the CPC in the avionics compartment or the EE bay. Make sure the correct CPC is selected on the flight deck. In the EE bay, select the correct CPCs to troubleshoot. The bite instructions are located on the front of the CPCS. First check that the fault lamps work with the press test button on the CPC. Next, check the stored faults from the current flight leg with the bit button. To view faults from the previous flight legs, push press test within 15 seconds of pushing the bit button. Each depress of the press test button will transition to the previous flight leg. This can be done up to eight times or eight flight legs. Test the CPC with the verify button. This should take around 30 seconds to finish and return a fault if present. If no fault lights up after the verify test, the problem may have been intermittent. Check with your local official maintenance documentation for further action. To reset the CPC and put it back into service, push verify and while the Verify mode light is on steady, push the Reset button. There are four red component fault lights on the CPC that could be illuminated when the bit switch is pressed. Controller. This indicates a problem inside the CPC. If the fault persists after Verify test, the CPC should be replaced. AC motor. This typically indicates a problem with the AC motor on the outflow valve, or with the output circuit on the CPC. Check your FIM for further troubleshooting. Selector. This indicates a problem with the selector panel on the flight deck, not the CPC. Note, there are conditions where this fault can be stored when the pilot selects the offside CPC during a power transition. Landing gear switch. This indicates a problem with the aircraft landing gear switch circuit, not the CPC. The other fault lights on the CPC indicate a status condition, not a fault, and do not require any maintenance action. No fault. If the CPC had no faults during the last flight, a no fault indication will be displayed. AC power off. If the AC power off light is on, the CPC detected the power was temporarily interrupted while it was controlling cabin pressure. Low inflow. Light indicates the CPC detected the airflow into the aircraft cabin was not sufficient to properly control the cabin pressure with the outflow valve. Verify mode. Indicates the CPC is in self-test mode as initiated. Note, if this light blinks, the other CPC is selected on the flight deck, and the self-test on this CPC will not continue. Maybe I better go check to see which one's selected. Important notes. The fault that caused an ICAST status message related to cabin pressure can only be seen by pressing the buttons on the selected CPC. Remember, this generation of aircraft does not have a central maintenance computer on board. Troubleshooting the CPC bit faults will need to be accomplished from the CPC front panel. The CPC is at fault only if the red controller light is on. If any other red lights come on, the CPC does not have to be replaced. 
One exception could be the AC motor light as mentioned previously during bite instructions. Without accomplishing the reset, the FIM CPC bite procedure 2131 is not completed in its entirety. The CPC must be reset to clear the fault that caused the ICAST message. Switching power or selecting manual mode does not reset the fault. The CPC remembers the fault even if the power is off. As long as the faulted CPC has not been reset, every time it is powered up, the ICAST message will reoccur. This concludes Aid to Troubleshooting. B757, B767 cabin pressure controller. For additional assistance, please contact us at our web portal. This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication.